Yeah, so the Supreme Court is the only court in the country that doesn't have, in addition to basic financial and, sorry, conflict of interest laws and rules, doesn't have on top of that a code of conduct which dictates the way that individuals on the court should behave inside and outside the courtroom. So while there's a federal law that says, you know, if you previously participated in a case, then you can't hear the case as a judge, or if you have if you own stock in a, in a company, you can't hear a, a, a case involving that company. On top of that, for lower court judges and for all the state and municipal court judges, there's a code of conduct that says judges should comport themselves with uh, uh, respect and high moral character. Judges should refrain from political activity. Judges shouldn't, shouldn't attend fundraisers, right? And it's like not against the law to attend or to use your name at a fundraiser. That would go against the First Amendment, and it would be very hard to – to get someone on that. But just generally, if you're speaking at a $500 a dinner, uh, a $500 a plate dinner, that is a fundraiser. And you shouldn't be lending your name and prestige to such uh, an organization, even if it's a good cause. I mean, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like the Federalist Society or the American Constitution Society or the NRA Foundation or something like that that has a clear political valence. Um, But in general, uh, you know, there should be basic guidelines, rules of the road that you as a judge should uphold in order to maintain the integrity of your, the institution. A code of conduct is not a be all end all. It's not a panacea, but it, it's, a, it's a start to show uh, the American people how they can expect their judges and justices to behave. And the fact that the justices don't have such a code is a real embarrassment, frankly, I think, for the institution, because it just makes us think that. What are they doing that's unethical? Why are they so afraid of adopting one?